Hey everyone, welcome back. Tonight we're going to look at the Proline Hyrax 1.0s and sort of compare them to the um, Patagonias. As you can tell, they're just a slight bit taller. I'd call it just a couple millimeters. But you're not going to lose any height if you go to them. They are a bit more stiff. I'm running foams in mine. I know a lot of people won't, but I do. And uh, I'm like, why not? Uh, they're a tiny bit narrower. It's about half a centimeter narrower, five millimeters or so. And um, one of the notable things about them is as you transition towards the sides of the uh, tire, it's got uh, sipes, there are these little cuts through it, and lugs, and you get a little bit more side grip. So if you get these tires against a wall of rock, it'll catch on these lugs that uh, won't necessarily catch on the side of the of the uh, Patagonians because they're tighter and smoother. There is a little bit of that, but not to the same degree. And you'll notice that when you're when you're driving it on rock, especially. Um, I've driven these a bit, so they're already showing a little bit of wear. But um, I really like these tires. They go everywhere that the Patagonias go. And they may even on rocks have a little more grip as far as uh, uh, climbing. When you put some pressure on these, it seems like they interlock with the rock surface a little better maybe. Uh, it's hard to beat Patagonias, though. Maybe not. But uh, I'll just do a demo. In a little bit here and show you how they do um, I'll run the Patagonias first because they're already on and then I'll do a quick run with these I'm not gonna do a whole bunch of driving tonight but we'll use a couple of areas of the course and uh, just show you how they do in this next section I'm just gonna drive it up the uh, embankment here and just see how high we get it going straight up like this Front tires slid out pretty high, but that's kind of where it's hooking up. Right there at that line. And it just powered its way up there. say they have a little more a little more traction just do another test run across here that's not a challenge for it but it sets it up for the next section this section here is a pretty hardcore uh, side hilling thing that uh, is very difficult to pull off so I'm just gonna physically reset it a few times here and see if I can't uh, make it happen for you here. I know it can do this with the Patagonias But uh, I want to be able to show it to you for Comparison when you see it with the other tires Might be a little more difficult than I planned, but uh, just know that it can do it, and uh, this will give us a little reference for the uh, other tires when you see it.
these are slightly taller. And I've not made it with these tires yet because I haven't fully tested them yet on this path. It's pretty tricky because it's it's uh, heavily leaning its uh, side hill challenge there a lot. One thing that you'll notice with these tires is the back end does not slide around. When the front hooks, it just turns the whole truck because these tires have so much grip that they just don't slide around corners where the fronts on the Patagonias can kind of just sort of drag the backs and they'll do what they need to do to kind of get drug around. These hook pretty hard. Okay, take it over the top here. And you can see I'm climbing this on, the, on the, kind of the sidewall area of that tire. And these actually, I think, in my opinion, will climb on the sidewall better than just about any tire I put on these cars. Here's another section that's kind of difficult for it. And what I want you to see on this section here is actually the uh, right side the right rear tire here gets against that rock and uh, once it starts spinning it can it just kind of freely rotates through there I don't have to have a whole lot of torque behind it and yet it will still spin because it's not hooked up super hard on that And here's the uh, Black Rock Challenge from earlier, where the tread kind of gets against the wall. It still spins in the same place. But you'll notice that the tires won't spin as freely as they did before, because as this tire touches that rock those side lugs get into it and uh, it puts a lot of load on the motor and if you're used to doing a lot of gunning it to get it through this will be a set of tires that burn up a lot of motors for people because they are so sticky you kind of have to be careful with them I'll try to do a quick run up the stairs the Patagonia's And this is where that kind of soft uh, tire tread works really well on the, the Patagonias. You can see the uh, right, the left front tire deforming quite a bit under that side load. Up and away, no real problem with that. And I'll just round out the video with a stair climb with the uh, Hyrax. I've gotten to where I pretty much know the line on this. You can do it pretty well. But again, these tires are different than the uh, um, trying to drive and talk at the same time. They're different than the Patagonias because they'll bite. And Patagonias have more of a, I don't know, they, they slip a little more. So you don't have to worry about individual tires grabbing and turning the vehicle. With these, if you get a tire sticking, it'll stick hard. And one tire can move the whole car when uh, the Patagonias was a combination of all four, and uh, 
you didn't necessarily have to worry about individual tires hooking up super hard. But these lugs can catch on a like an edge if the rock is really rough. So you get one tire that greatly influences the direction of the vehicle. I would say they have more capability, but they're also a little bit more finicky. So as long as you're driving absolutely perfect and taking perfect lines, you'll probably get more out of these tires than you will out of the Patagonias. They don't slip at all here. So at the end of the test, my own personal opinion, this is not scientific, this is just subjective based upon what I observed as I drove tonight, that the uh, Patagonias are much softer. They're a soft tire, they're very compliant. These are a lot stiffer, a lot harder. They've got a harder tread here, deeper tread, than the uh, Patagonias. And uh, which one's better? Well, that depends on how you drive, where you drive, what you're after. Um, the Patagonias are a more forgiving tire. I think they're gonna be less likely to blow your motor from uh, tires getting hung up and stopping your motor. Uh, motors don't like to be stopped and get uh, throttled. It just heats up the wires inside of them and melts them. So um, the Patagonias are definitely more uh, forgiving. You don't have to be as precise. I don't think they have the level of grip that the uh, the new Hyrax have. They're they're just super grippy, but. Like I said, if, if you get a rear tire, like the right rear catches, and the rest of the tires aren't caught as hard, it'll push the whole car around, just because it's the one getting the torque. It's the one getting the, the uh, traction. Um, where these, they're smoother, and they grip really well, but I don't think you're gonna quite get the same amount of um, torque from one specific tire maybe maybe a rock like this where you have a lot of edges that uh, individual lugs can catch because those edges if this if this catches on one ledge it's a mechanical uh, interlock because it's like it's 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 basically locked onto that where these are smoother and you're depending more on the uh, tread of the compound rather than the physical um, tire block hooking into the surface of the rock. Uh, I don't know which compound is actually more grippy. Uh, I really don't know. But I would say overall the combination of compound and tread, the Hyrax probably have more grip and I'd be almost certain of it outside if you're running it on dirt just because it's got bigger blocks and they're gonna hook in a little tighter. So I love both of these wheels, they're both fantastic, but that's just an observation. You gotta make up your own mind. But uh, sorry about my voice tonight, I'm a little bit under the weather, but I'll be better soon. Everybody have a good week, we'll talk to you later.